as I said, at, as a covenant community, there are commitments that we make before the Lord. These families have already made some of these commitments before the Lord privately between themselves and their child and our Heavenly Father that they would raise their children in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. And so we're going to give them an opportunity to affirm this before all of you this morning. But in addition to that, we're going to give you as the family of faith here at Providence an opportunity to covenant with them as the body to helping them to understand that we are here to support them as they seek to do this. So real quick, we're going to read these commitments, okay? All right. In the presence of our Heavenly Father, you parents have come today to present your children into the Lord. The faith which you have placed in the promises of God must grow as you fully honor God by embracing His promises by faith for your child. The individual commitments you've made privately to the Lord, to your child and to each other, you now proclaim publicly in an act of worship and dedication. Do you come today to commit yourselves to be godly parents whose lives will reflect the glorious joy of knowing the Lord God through Jesus Christ, his son? If you will, say we do. Amen. Do you come to place this child in the strong, loving, secure arms of your eternal father, entrusting your child both to his care and his service? If so, say we do. The prayer of Hannah for her son Samuel gives us an illustration of the extent of this dedication. 1 Samuel 1, 27, 28 tells us uh, the prayer of Hannah. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted me what I asked of him. So now I give him to the Lord. For his whole life, he will be given over to the Lord. Is this the commitment you are making in the dedication of your child unto the Lord? If it is, say it is. And now, congregation, this is where you get a chance to make your commitment to these families. Will you endeavor by the grace of God to pray for these parents and their children and to live your lives before God in such a way that these young ones will see the power and glory of the Lord in your walk with him? If so, say we will. We will. All right, let's pray for you all. Father, we thank you so much for each of these families and these precious children that you have granted to them by your grace. Father, we thank you so much that these are parents who love you, who have been saved by your grace who have been rescued from the kingdom of darkness and brought into the kingdom of light. And Father, we pray that you would do the same thing for these children, that you would save them, that you would make them your own, that you would rescue their hearts, that you would set them on a path of walking with you for their entire life. And Father, we pray expectantly that you will do that. Pray that you would grant these parents strength as they seek to raise these children to love you and to know you and to care about you. And Father, we pray for us as a body that we would take seriously the commitment that we have made to these families, that we will walk alongside them, that we will pray for them, that we will encourage them so that we can see these children grow up to be a part of a generation that would love you and would take the gospel to the neighborhoods and their nations for your glory. And so, God, we thank you so much for this day. Thank you for giving us a reason to celebrate this new life. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, give these families one more big hand.